907-908. We've got Jonathan Cannon. What a great name for a pitcher, Jonathan Cannon. And the White Sox at plus 205. Bryce Miller and the Mariners at minus 245. Total of 7.5 with juice to the under at minus 115. All right, Corby, let's start with you. The Mariners, my preseason pick to win this division. Six and a half games up. That looks like that has a shot, which is nice, which is weird because – we talk about it all the time, how the Mariners just strike out a lot and they get, they become really tough to back. Now you hear Brian Wu looks like he's dealing with some uh, sort of injury in that rotation. He's been pretty good for the Mariners. But Bryce Miller, good young pitcher. Jonathan Cannon's meh. But for me, there's zero – unless I'm doing something like you're doing, Corby, and making it a parlay piece or something, there is not a baseball team – and on the planet that I'm backing at minus 200 or bet like just, it's just no not in the dog days of summer you know mid June about a month away from the all star break too many things can go wrong at that price in my view what are we doing with White Sox and Mariners Corby yeah somebody says uh, I was wrong about that over 500 set and this is true because as I said in the chat the only thing I keep up with is pitcher heights you know I uh, I'm a sucker for some tall pitchers and we, and we got another one on the mound today Jonathan Cannon six mm. foot six two twenty five. Throwing 93 miles an hour. I wish you'd throw a little fast. Kind of reminds me of Bailey O'Bear up there. Um, mm. But one thing worth noting, and Kenny brought it up yesterday and made me want to bet this today. Thorpe came up yesterday for the White Sox, and we saw a number at five and a half. A guy who doesn't strike out anybody. He had only had double-A reputation, uh, and he's getting five and a half strikeouts juice to the under. It's because this Mariners team strikes out that much. So now you see a guy mm-hmm. in Jonathan Cannon who does have decent stuff. He can throw kind of fast in his last outing. He went three innings pitch of four strikeouts. So he's right at this number, even when he doesn't go deep, but uh, now there's no reason for him not to go deep. They, they used a few mm. pieces in the bullpen yesterday. Um, and I think Jonathan Cannon can get over his four and a half strikeout number pretty easy. So, uh, but the big thing is <laughs> senior football says, that's why I love class. Now. Yeah. I feel like I've talked about it a few times. I, I like tall pitchers, um, but <sighs> so I, I don't think that the strikeout potential is actually what, is going to make the Mariners lose games. Like we've seen them strike out 10 times and, and win plenty of games. So I took an unorthodox, anti correlated type of parlay. I took Jonathan Cannon over four and a half strikeouts, parlayed with the Mariners' money line. I don't think the Mariners st- striking out is enough to make Bryce Miller not get a win here. Um, so give me that. I think it was plus 219. So the third unorthodox bet I've had of, of the uh, afternoon here. Yeah, I have uh, Cannon over four and a half Ks parlays with Mariners money line plus two hundred one is what I'm looking at on the uh, sheet here. Sounds about right. Kenny, what are we doing with this? Look, we know the White Sox stink. We know that they're not going to win a lot of games, but we also know crazy crap happens in baseball, and we have a minus two thirty favorite with the team that strikes out more than any team in baseball. Like it's really hard to jump on that, isn't it? It is. I, I first glance at this, I was I was trying to talk myself into into something White Sox related. You know, Bryce Miller right. is. I think, you know, volatile, I think is a fair word here. He's a little all over the place. He got absolutely rocked in Kansas City in his last outing. But his, his home and away splits are, are pretty drastic. Now, again, it's a, it's, a, it's a small sample. I'm not going to really put too much into that, although it does match up with how we threw last year as well. On the road this year, he's got a 6 ERA at home. He's got a 2.13. Uh, it does feel like a like a Bryce Miller masterclass. So I just I stayed away from it. So let's hope it's a Bryce Miller masterclass and Jonathan Cannon gets his case for Corby and everybody wins. Yeah, it's a 673 weighted OPS for Bryce Miller. Uh, he was good in his one lone start against the White Sox. 46 fantasy points in that game. But if you look to your point, the volatility here of Bryce Miller. So if you just look at you can just look at his fantasy points here and, and just in his last five starts, seven, which is god awful, 15, terrible again, 40, 55, fantastic, and negative three. So a wide range of outcomes here. If you get good Bryce Miller, he can mow through the White Sox. If you get bad Bryce Miller, you got a shot on a big dog, right? So it's, it's. Are we backing that at minus two thirty? <laughs> not this guy. Uh, not for me. But for purposes of the show, we've got the Corby Craig parlay. We've got the uh, what do we call? It? We got the messy hair. We call it the messy hair parlay. It. I Cor- Corby when he gets his hair ready before the show, he's trying to mess it up. That's the funny part. Like you see him literally trying to. Yes, he like wants it like that. Yeah, that's that's what uh, that's what the ladies love out there. Yeah, uh, I had um. I had somebody pre- I had somebody in the show of college basketball this year. Uh, it was like one of those comments after the show. They were like, they were like Corby's hair is so messy. That's so unprofessional. I was like, dude, I actually purposely do this. Uh, listen, shout out Einstein. He's my hero. And um, you used, last year you get to see the Einstein paintings. So I try to make my hair replicate good old Albert, you know? 
I love that. I love that. And for purposes of the show, the Corby Craig parlay here, Jonathan Cannon over four and a half Ks. And then the Mariners to win. See, this is a little, he's got the opposing pitcher striking him out, but the Mariners still winning. And that's literally the story of the Mariners season. Parlay those together. And that's at plus 201.